Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video. It would really help the channel out and it would mean so, so, so much to me. I'm trying to get to 100K before the end of the year. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It's free and you can always change your mind later. But if you don't subscribe, then I'm going to steal all the stuffing from your pillows. Now enjoy the video. Okay. So, you remember what I taught you? Okay. Ready? All right. On three. One, two, three. All right. Easy now. Easy. Steady pace. Okay. Hey, flap with me. That's it. That's it. Good job. Good job. Awesome. You're doing it. All right. Now transform back. Awesome! Fantastic, honey! You did amazing! You were flying longer than last time! You're really getting the hang of it! I'm so proud of you, love. I was honestly worried you'd have trouble adapting after I... I had turned... I had to turn you. But you've shown amazing progress, and I am honored to be your number one fan. It's also amazing how much the world has started to adapt to vampires being a part of the regular everyday life. I mean, just a month ago, the world wanted them dead, but after the truth was revealed, the world has been so accepting of them. Seeing all those people online, those posts demanding justice for me and all other vampires who have been wronged, it brings me to tears just thinking about it. <laughs> really, it, it, it's amazing. It, I'm really glad that we're finally getting the acceptance that we deserve. Thank goodness we also put sunscreen on. This sun is ridiculous. One thing I know for sure, we won't be going to Arizona anytime soon. I did hear that the doctors are working on finding a treatment for severe sunburn for vampires. Now that I think about it, there is so much potential right now with the research that people can do. There is, like, a lot of potential. They could find ways to help with the urges to feed, the weakness to garlic, our ability to regenerate just from the drop of blood, and so many more. I mean, heck... It could even benefit regular humans down the line. All of this research people can do humanely could change so many lives. And I am so glad I get to do it with you. I'm glad we get to experience these changes and events together. Well, I think that's enough training for today. Let's get inside. I am starving. Mmm. This is really good, honey. You did fantastic with the meat. Really good seasoning, too. What a smart gal you are. Mm. Man. Man, this is good. This is really good. Hmm? Yes, darling? Do I think Vex is still alive? I highly doubt it. He was dragged away by the imprisoned vampires that he had kidnapped. They were biting into him and tearing him apart, but... I... didn't see it happen. I started hearing what sounded like him being torn apart after he was dragged off, but I didn't see it fully. I didn't pursue them because I didn't exactly want to disrupt their meal. Could he still be out there? Maybe. But there's something I can't stop thinking about. After he shot you, he told me that I now knew exactly how he felt. 
Yeah, it might be due to him having a bad encounter with a vampire that maybe took his family. But then again, vampires go rabid when provoked. So, what could be the reason he said that? I'm not sure either. Your guess is as good as mine. It could have. It could be anything, for all we know. And he could still be out there. But if we do see him again, I know we'll be able to take him down for good. We took him down once. We could damn well do it again. Mm. This was really good, honey. Thank you so much. Hmm? Yes? How have I been feeling about us? Like our relationship? Oh, I think it's been wonderful. I've enjoyed every second I've gotten to spend with you. Watching the Five Nights at Freddy's movie with you in theaters last week, it sure was awesome. And Halloween with you was really fun too. And now we got Christmas coming around the corner. It's just... It's been an amazing journey. And oh, that stargazing date night. It was so amazing. I loved counting the stars with you, and it was awesome getting to see that shooting star. I still have yet to tell you my wish. Because I want it to come true before I reveal it. And I love you too, love. So... What do you want to do this evening? Oh, you have something planned for me? Well, I certainly am intrigued now. What do you have up your sleeve? Close my eyes? Um, well... All right, then. Eyes are shut tight. Oh. Taking me by the hand. Oh boy, um, where are you? Where are you taking me, honey? Okay, okay, I can. Okay, I, I think I can sense where we're going. We're heading down the hall. Yeah. Are we in our bedroom? You know, I, I know it's our bedroom, but something feels really different about it. I don't know what it is. I just. It's like this aura that, I don't know, It's just, it feels like something's different. Yeah, I remember. The state granted us compensation for what the hunters put us through. Wait. What did you do? All right. Opening my eyes. <gasps> Holy crap! It's... Is this our bedroom? It, it looks... It looks so gorgeous! Holy cow! This... this the, the bed? The desk? The, the window? The closet? The... the holy cow! It, it looks so much better! Oh my goodness! The walls! Oh my gosh, the walls are different! Oh, I love this pattern. I love this pattern. It's so beautiful. Wait, when did this happen? Oh my gosh. You had people come over and remodel the entire bedroom while I was out? How long did it take to do this? Dang, I was really gone for that long? Huh. I sincerely apologize. Goodness gracious, this is insane! I... I I am so... I'm speechless! I, I don't know what to say! But, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, is that supposed to represent us? These two little specks, the white and black specks? Oh, it's so cute! Oh my gosh, this is amazing! I had been wanting to redecorate our bedroom for a while, and, and, oh my gosh, honey, you took notes. 
This is exactly what I envisioned! You... You really were taking notes when I was talking to you about stuff that I would like in our redecorated bedroom. I appreciate it, I do. The bed? What about it? Oh my gosh. This... Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this bed is so much better than the last one we had. Oh, this is fantastic. The amount of dreams I'm going to have here are going to be fantastic. And it's going to be a lot. They're going to have a hard time trying to wake me up. Probably going to need to, like, like shake me awake. You're not just going to be able to, like, speak to me to wake me up. You're going to need to shake me or probably, like, like spill water on me. Because I am going to be sleeping like a log on this thing tonight. <laughs> This is amazing, honey. Now I owe you one. I've got some ideas up my sleeve, but I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> You'll just have to find out yourself. Just like I found out with this. Hmm? What's this? Wait, is this? Is this for me? Oh, baby, you shouldn't have. Now, of course I'll open it. Here, just, just one second. Okay. Right. Oh! A cute little notebook and a card! Read the card last? Why? Oh, there's something written in the notebook? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy! All right. I'm going to read it out loud if you don't mind. <clears throat> to my love, Aiden. When I first met you, I had recently quit my job as a vampire hunter. I originally saw the job as a way to possibly rid the world of vampires, but also put an end to the suffering of those unfortunately cursed with being a vampire. I thought the job was to euthanize them as painlessly as possible, but that's until I discovered the truth. After that, I had no intention of going back. I wanted to free the imprisoned vampires and resign. And that's what I did. I resigned, and then I set the vampires free without being caught. So when I met you, I found you in an alleyway against a dumpster, beaten and shot, bleeding to death. You were a poor, helpless vampire who needed help, and I couldn't bear the thought of leaving you to die. So when you asked for my blood, I knew it was the right thing to do, and I gave it to you without any form of hesitation. After getting to know you and being able to grow closer to you over the next few months, I couldn't have been happier with anyone else. You have changed my life for the better and have made me laugh at times I didn't think I could even smile. Being with you for this long has brought true joy and happiness to my heart. But when I found out that you were like this because of me, it broke me. And when you ran out of the house into the rain, I thought I would never see you again. I didn't want you to go. I didn't want to lose you and I chased after you with Melman in hand. I found you. In the same alleyway I had found you when you were bleeding to death months ago. I apologize to you profusely, regretful of my actions. I still regret my actions to this day. Then, when I saw you get taken away from me, right in front of my eyes, something snapped in me. I had never been that angry in my life. I care a lot about the people in my life. Being an orphan made me learn how valuable your relationship with someone is and how much it hurts when it's gone. So when I met you and got with you, the value of our relationship was the most important thing to me. And right when I thought I had you back in my arms, you were stolen from me. I had lost my parents. I was not going to lose you too. Seeing that car drive away with you made me finally realize what you are to me. You are my one and only. The final piece of my puzzle that completes me. The 
piece that simply cannot be ignored. You are someone I cannot ever imagine my life without, and I couldn't lose you. I couldn't let you be subjected to the horrors in that awful facility. And I made it my mission to get you out of there. <laughs> Even if it would cost me my life, I didn't care. Because I did not want you to suffer a fate like that. A fate worse than death. Dying kinda... hurted? Really, honey? <clears throat> okay, okay, I'll keep reading. But knowing you brought me back and refused to let me die told me all I needed to know about you. Escaping the facility with you and then finding you by the river. And then finding justice for the vampires who were wrongfully imprisoned and framed made me feel like we had achieved our goal. A true victory. Ensuring rights and freedom to vampires. How I feel about us is something I simply can't write here. But on the... card? Okay. Let's see what the card says. <clears throat> Dear Aiden, Losing my parents was already extremely tough for me. I thought I'd never be able to love another person like I did my parents again. Until I met you. You showed me true love, the true meaning of happily ever after. Despite you being a vampire, I didn't let that stop me from loving you, and loving you was the best decision I had ever made. Aiden, you have taken my heart, picked up the pieces it was shattered into, and put it back together piece by piece with gentle and delicate care without even realizing it. You love me in a way I never thought was possible to be loved. I'm probably the luckiest girl in the world to have found you. Your smile, your laugh, your beautiful eyes, your gorgeous hair, your <laughs> beautiful muscles, your amazing voice, your loving personality, everything about you has made me incredibly happy. I really wish you could have met my parents. I know they would have loved you. Throughout all the times we have spent together, all the good times and bad times, the laughs and cries we've shared, I've felt closer to you than I have with anyone in my life. With all of this, this leaves me with one more question. Aiden Breen, my loving prince, will you... Will... Will you... Marry me? What... What? You... Are you... Are you... Are you being serious? <laughs> yes! Yes! Yes, yes, of course I will! Of course I will! <laughs> I love you! I love you! I love you, I love you so much. <laughs> I will marry you. I will. <laughs> you know, honey, y you want to know something? It's funny you do that because, well... I had the same plan. I was going to propose to you after I had finished reading this card. But it seems you beat me to it. <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> I can't believe that we seem to have the same mindset. <laughs> Seems we're both always two steps ahead. But is it okay if I do the same thing in return? I, it's it's tradition for the guy to do the proposal, so you kind of... You, you, 
No, 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 it's not, it's, I'm not mad. I, I'm glad that you proposed. I'm honestly really glad you did that for me because that was a really sweet thing to experience, but I also want to, I want to have that moment. Okay. Thank you. My love, will you bury me? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. I promise you I will be the best husband ever. I promise. <laughs>